Buongiorno. What's up, everybody? Uh, I just finally made it to Vatican City, and it's a pretty surreal feeling being here. Uh, there are a lot of people here, but it seems to be less than the normal, which is nice. And uh, I'll just kind of show you what we're looking at here. So this is the main entrance kind of over, over here, right? see that on the side, you see that little arch? But this is kind of entering St. Peter's Square and you're greeted by these massive columns everywhere and they have to span maybe say four to, eh, maybe close to four feet wide and they go up fairly high, maybe two stories um, couldn't say the length for sure, and it's just really cool walking through here. If you can, you can see that view, and I think to the to the right, if you can see that beautiful building, that is uh, St. Peter's Basilica, and that was definitely on the list. And I, I tried to get into the the Vatican Museum. Unfortunately, uh, they were all booked for today, which that was my mistake for not planning ahead. But um, wow, okay, so you're about to see a pretty cool sight as we make our way into the, close to the center of the square, look at this, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that is St. Peter's Basilica. Just considering, you know, what it took to, to build this. You know, it was a, a lifetime, you know, mission for some of these these people that were on these projects. That's all they did. And you see, like, columns over there in the the background with it being decorated with individual statues of, I don't know who they are, but it must have been somewhat influential at one point or another. So that's really cool, though. So yeah, there's a look at the little entrance way I just came from. Yeah, very cool. It's um, pretty low key, uh, low key here today. Weather's like 65, 70, overcast. And everybody's just hanging out. So I'm on the left side of the square, or the piazza as some might call it and just having a close look at all these sculptures. And it's just, just beautiful. And you can only wonder what impact these people may have had at the time. Very cool. Okay, so just got up to the second level of the Basilica and this is the first thing you see. There's this walkway with mosaic, a blend of mosaics on your right or your left depending on which way you're coming from, followed by this fenced enclosure and if you stand against the wall and look up there is the dome or I guess you could call it a rotunda with an opening up there with a number of windows and you can't really see the detail obviously or the curvature of the rotunda from the video but it is beyond magnificent I mean, this is probably the coolest thing that I've witnessed inside since being here like there's a lot of cool stuff obviously outside like on the water but yeah this is this is just wow 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 
Um, I mean, the attention to detail in this place alone is, is mind-boggling. Um, I'd say if, you know, you feel compelled, um, go to YouTube and look for something that maybe was shot with a better camera, which would, um, give you a, a good depiction of, of what this is like. Um, just bear with me here. I'm going to walk down the path and get a nice view of the, the altar. So then right up here. You can see that. That is the altar. See, it looks like something out of, like, Lord of the Rings or some other fantastic movie. I mean, I got chills when I first saw it. It's pretty wild. Um, and what's really impressive, too, is just the bold-faced Latin messages that are adorned on the wall and written everywhere, it's just so cool. So we're gonna walk past here. Excuse me. I'm gonna try to show you guys the, the bottom for scale. Bottom left hand part of your screen, you should see people walking. Look at how small they look. And then even more impressive is the floor is decorated with all these different patterns. It just this place is just wild. Oh my god. But uh yeah, so look up St. Peter's Basilica if you feel compelled. And uh try to look for some better pictures or video, but this is probably going to be the best I can get at the moment. But, uh, yeah, very, very nice. And I think the, the common theme that keeps coming up in conversation with other tourists is that, you know, it would be very difficult to construct this to build what you're looking at in modern day, with even with our, our new technology and innovation. We're headed up to the yeah. other level, going through these very tiny corridors, and it's, it's awesome. Everybody's out of breath, but they're gonna make it. I just happened to pass some girls from France, and they were hilarious. They're like, oh, so many steps. <laughs> it's worth it though. So <laughs> these are the steps we're going up. It's crazy. Look at this. It's just a, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. We are somewhere. Oh, we're on. Oh shit, we're on the roof. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is cool. Apparently we can see um, most of Rome from up here. Very cool. Well, that was worth the stairs up. Roma. All right, guys. So while down on the first level, wanted to be respectful of the silence and not do too much narration. But let me tell you, this place was indescribably beautiful and magnificent like all of the people had the same looks on their faces like oh my god like you, before you die you have to go visit St. Peter's Basilica it, it is it doesn't matter if you're 
religious or whatever. Just look at what men had constructed in the name of God. It, it, it was just so, so gorgeous. All right, and that big brown wooden thing is the altar that covers the tomb of San Pietro, St. Peter. And as you got closer walking to it and seeing the, the fine detail and the craftsmanship, it, it was just beyond words. And then, I mean, every single corner you would turn and look up at this figure, this sculpture, this arch, this... Uh, square golden inlay uh, on top it was just so precise so perfect I mean you can only imagine the amount of time it took to construct this I believe it was somewhere around 400 years to complete officially and of course they're always making changes but you know definitely verify that that number on online but I remember people there telling me it was approximately 400 years or so. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? And just look at, look at how high the, the ceilings are. And you saw from the previous view upstairs the scale of just how big this place is. And when you were up there, how small the people looked. And this was a look at the main altar coming up uh, with Jesus and a dove above and the video didn't pick it up but in the middle where you kind of see like that light in the middle it, it was just beyond words it, it was so fantastic This was a great way to cap off the tour of the Basilica, seeing this guy dancing and giving praise to, to Lord Jesus Christ. Love it. This guy's awesome. It's amazing. This dude's just out here in St. Peter's Square going, Do it for Jesus! He is your savior! And he must be listening to some good music because he is bobbing. Yeah, I feel it. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna start dancing. <laughs> 